Shut up and sit down. Yo, yo, people, welcome back to the Juice Review, and we're back with a company that I've worked with quite, for quite a number of years, right from when I first ever started reviewing, and here's a company, now this one's called Cyber Rabbit, there we go, let you have a little look at the, the menu that they've sent us, Cyber Rabbit, now they did Jack Rabbit, which the first time I saw them, I think were roughly around about 2016, when Josh had just first started, and then you've got Rachel Rabbit, and now he's come out with a complete and utter different range, and he's called it Cyber Rabbit. Now, there's loads of videos and bits of extra bobs that he's, he's got out there on the internet. You can go check that out. I think he starts off with, like, a video game and stuff like that. Go and check that out. I love stuff like that. They also sent out in their packaging, we, we all got a hat. And we also got a T-shirt. And a big shout-out for the T-shirt. The T-shirt is actually in my size, because normally... When I get t-shirts, they never fit. So yeah, I think that's quite nice. You've got a little cyber bunny on the side. So I'll be I'll be wearing that. I'll be wearing that. Now what they wanted us to do was they didn't want us to like open them, try them for a while, and then do the review. What they wanted us to do is basically open the box, get the bottles, and have uh, on camera what we actually think. So that's what I've done. As you can see, all these bottles have not been cracked. They are um, all all still sealed. I have got three mods. All freshly wicked, as you can see. I'll show you all of them when we do do it. They are all freshly wicked. And that's the way it's going to go. We've got three liquids to do. Let's get on with it. Now, they have given us a menu. I've just basically put all three out, so I'm not putting them in any order. So they have, they'll give us a menu, which is quite nice. And the first one we have got is Exxon. I think that's what I'm going to call it, Exxon. And it is a blueberry and pomegranate. There we go. Now, these are all your 50ml short fills. So, if you do take nicotine, take your top off, stick your nick shot in, give it a good old shake, leave it for 24 to 48 hours, and you are ready to go. Some people say after 30 minutes, but I'd recommend at least 24 hours. Let it settle down. So, yeah, this one is the uh, Exxon. And what they're saying is um, a dazzling beam of blueberries against a flickering halo of full bodied pomegranates. I've looked through the flavours and these are like sort of in my, uh, what I really like. Now I've not put no nick in these. And as you can see, I'm cracking the bottle now. It's not been been opened. Ooh, smells quite nice. You're getting that blueberry in there. All right, as you can see, we've not. And I've got all these set up at 70 watts. It's like what I normally do. Just got to paint these coils and put a... So like I said, I've, I've actually reviewed for Jack Rabbit when I first ever started, and they were first starting out. I met them in Nottingham. Um, a lovely set of people, really nice set of people. And all the juices that I have tried, the Rachel Rabbit and the Jack Rabbit stuff, I've liked all their juices. Mm. Smells nice. Right, I think we're ready to go. What have we got this on? We've got it on the Magma Box. Make sure I put the top cap on. That'd be no good, would it? I've got it on the Magma Box. Uh, with the trusted Wasp Nano coming out at 70 watts at 0.19 ohms. A bit of a weird homage. Let's give it a vapor and see what we think. It's going to pop a little bit. Always does on the uh, Wasp Nano. Oh, you're getting that blueberry. I'm going to turn that down just a touch of it. 65. You're definitely getting that blueberry straight away. And it's, it's not overly sweet, but it's a sweet blueberry. And then you get the pomegranate underneath. But you, you sort of like getting, I'm getting like a perfumey sort of taste to it. Not not horrible, but I'm getting sort of like a perfumey taste. Like there was a grape in it. You know what I mean? Like a grape sort of taste. Yeah, you're getting that blueberry. And like I said, then you're getting that pomegranate underneath. But there is like a flowery taste to it. I'd say, I don't know. I don't know whether it's like a... A grape. I'm even getting a... I don't know. It's that aftertaste. I'm not quite sure. It 
It's not unpleasant. It's not chemically either. It's a very smooth, smooth vape. You're getting them blueberries. You're getting that pomegranate underneath. But I'm getting like a more of a, a flowery taste to it as well. It's not overly sweet, and it is a sweet vape. Like I said to you, you're getting that blueberry. You're getting that pomegranate. But then there's like a flowery taste underneath. I can't work out like if it's a grape with it, or there's just something else that's actually there. I'm not quite sure. Big thumbs up from Little Bro. No problem with it. Like I said, it's not chemically. Would it be my all day vape? No, it wouldn't be something that I'd be, be using all day. But there's nothing wrong with it either. If you're up into your blueberry and your, your pomegranates, then that one's for you. Right, on to the next one. This one's called Neon. Let you have a little look at the bottles. I do like the designs on the bottles. They do look really, really nice. There we go. All childproof cap. All warnings that should be there are there. Right, Neon. Matrix of uh, Matrix of Fruit, posed to take over juicy peach with a grapefruit citrus backdrop. Hmm. And you can get these in 50 mil and 100 mils as well. Like I said, not touch this at all. There you go, naked as you can hear. Take the top off. What have we got this on? We have got it on the Cold Steel 100 and also the Wasp Nano. Again, just paint these curls up. Yeah, that last one that we were doing there, yeah, you could get the blueberry. Like I said, it wasn't unpleasant, um, but there was like a flowery taste to the back of it. I'm not quite sure what that was. It, I did feel it was maybe a little bit of a grape. Remember, taste is subjective. Right, you lot might not get that, or somebody else might not get it, and I did. Right, I'm just painting these up. There we go. I think we are ready to go. Oh, you're definitely getting the uh, grapefruit and that citrus smell. So I love, I love a good grapefruit. Right, so just to remind us what we've got this on. We've got it on the Cold Steel 100. We've also got it um, with the Wasp Nano coming out at 70 watts at 0.18 ohms. And this is a matrix of fruits um, poised to take over juicy peach with a grapefruit citrus backdrop. I love peach and I love grapefruit as well if it's done right. Right, so we're going to vape and see what we think. I think I might have to turn this down a bit. Oh, we didn't get a pop. Oh, that's nice. That is nice, that. That peach is, is there, but it's sort of like just the sweetness of it. You're getting that great, great, grapefruit, but it's not like a, a sharp... How can I explain this? It's like if you've got the grapefruit and then you put a little bit of sugar on it. Not overly sweet, but it's like you put a little bit of sugar on it. Uh, you know, like when you have it for breakfast. And then you're getting that peach in there. Just put a bit more on there. You're getting that great you're getting that grapefruit in the inhale. And that peach is just there to um to sweeten it up. I'm getting the citrus as well, like it's more like a like your lemony limey at the back. Oh, I do a lot of that. You're getting the, the grapefruit on the inhale and also the exhale. Then you're only getting the lime and the lemon. And then you, the peach is just the sweetness to it. That's what it is. The peach is sweetening it up. It's not overly sweet. Again, not chemical. Very, very smooth. Yeah, I do like that. Is that my all-day vape? Yeah, that, I could quite happily vape that all day long. That is really, really nice. And that is uh, Neon. There we go. That one is really, really nice. A peach. Grapefruit and also uh, like a citrus behind it. Really do like that one. And the, <laughs> I like the names here. I'm going to be really good. And the last one we've got is Argon. I'm just going to say Argon. Again, these come in 50 mil, 100 mils. All childproof crap. All the ones that should be there are there. And that is Argon. That's what I'm going to call it, Argon. And like I said, I like these bottles. Again, not cracked. There we go. All open. We've got it on the Aladdin from Keys, and um, there we go. Again, as you can see, fresh, fresh wick. And got this up. There we go. There we go. There we go. So, so I normally have it all ready to go, but what they wanted was actually just like a a first impressions. The first impressions were on seventy watts here. That's very nice. There we go. Put this on. 
Right, and before we uh, get on and actually uh, review this, what is this then? Argon. An indecent glow of zesty lemons illuminates a deep and juicy black currant haze. I got that as I'm fired there. You could get that black currant. So, yeah, an indecent glow of zesty lemons illuminates a deep and juicy black currant haze. I love it when they put, put stuff like that. I just make it. I just wish to make it a bit easier for people to read. I'm a little bit dyslexic, so when they get these big words, you start panicking, especially when you're on camera. You're like, oh, God, can I read this? Can I read it? We did all right. We got through it. We got through it. So we have got it on the V sticking. I had to have a little look at the bottom then. Am I a reviewer? We don't know. Um, <laughs> on the bottom, uh, 70 watts coming out at um, 0.32 ohms. Again, a bit of a weird ohmage. And this is the Aladdin from Keys. Let's give it a vape and see what we think. We've got this at 70 watts. Ooh, that's different, that. That's really different. Yeah, you're getting the black currant, but then the like the, the, the lemon's hitting you. And it sort of confuses you really thinking, is that an overly sweet black currant or not? And then you sort of get that citrus tang to it. Put some more in there. That is really, really nice. Yeah, you're getting that black currant. You know, like if you'd got um it'd be like a pop, black currant cordial sort of pop, and then you've got like the lemon on it as well. This that's really nice that. Or you could it's also giving me afterwards, you know them travel sweets that you get that are a little bit black currency. You get them in the middle and you you've got fluff in them and stuff if you were your grandma or something like that. There there. Yeah, I quite like that. You're getting the black currant in, it's quite sweet, but then you sort of got getting that. With the lemon coming in, it's like a tanginess or a tartness to it. That's something different. That tastes like a sweet, and I can't think of the sweet. That's where I'm getting that black currant, you know, like a travel sweet or something that's there. But I can't get what the other one is. Yeah, big shot. Again, I like that one. Really, really, really did like that one. That's really, really nice. So we've got the Argon. There we go. That's the bottle for that one. Really do like the one. That one is a, a lemon and a black currant. Really do like that one. We got the Neon. Um, that was the Matrix of Fruits. Um, that was a juicy peach and grapefruit with a bit of citrus on it. That was absolutely gorgeous. Really like that one. And then you've got the Exxon. Again, I'm not. I'm not overly. You got the blueberries. Um, and you got the pomegranate, but there was some other sort of flowery taste to it that, that wasn't overly my side. It, again, none of these are chemically, none of these are badly made. Um, so they're really nice juices. Big shout out for, uh, to Jack Rabbit or Cyber Rabbit for sending them out for a review. I really wish you all the best, Josh. Really good line, really enjoyed them. Well, people, it's been another review by Little Bro. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the subscribe buttons in the corner. Give it a little press and give it to that new magic number. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Go and hit me up. We have been a bit barren over the last week because it has been my birthday and I've been moving the office around and changing bits on my computer. So everything should be going back to normal as the week goes ahead. So expect, like normal, a splurge of Little Bro Vapes reviews. Big shout out to all my people in the beer fund that are coming down there. If you want to join that, just press the join button. You get extra videos, extra bits and bobs. Come and join it, people. Come and join the madness. And there's one last thing to say. I've got plenty of mods in front of me. Keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.